as da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. I think that's why FCA is such a winner in this truck. And I ordered this from the factory and I should stop and thank the sponsor, me, for buying this truck uh, because I absolutely love it. But having the e-tour feature is amazing. When you're actually doing the auto start stop feature at a red light, you know, it saves a lot of gas, etc. cetera. Uh, it's amazing how well it works having a hybrid do the job because you don't get jolted like you do. I just rented a car last week. At every red light, I was scared to death every time it started up. With the 10th anniversary edition, I believe that's the package that requires that you get these off-road tires. And I was like, I'm looking for the softest, quietest ride, which is why I bought a Ram in the first place. This is literally, I, there's no comparison between this and anything else with the four-corner air suspension. But I was shocked to find out that these off-road tires, and I read some reviews that said the same thing, are silent. It's absolutely amazing to me, so don't be afraid of those. Now, I absolutely love the lights that turn with the wheel. It's amazing. I love this also. I'll show you the order at the end, but I love this combination of the body color group, the bumper being the same color as the rest of the body. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I also like having the chrome mirrors. It looks good both ways. Um, I also opted to get, I got basically every option. One of the coolest things is getting a camera that uh, there's a additional auxiliary camera for 500 bucks. It gives you apparently two cameras you can hook up and I'll place them in various places that I can use them. Now, Ram boxes, controversial. Should you have, do you want the bed space or do you want to have this? Now I look at the Ram box as being, making this truck, which is big enough the way it is, into the equivalent of a mix of an SUV and a pickup truck because you have all this space to put things out of view and there's a lot of space. I actually have that Jackery, I put my power device, which I don't really need because this thing has so much power, uh, but I put it there and I'm all able to store all these things and I have these special devices you can buy. Um, they're available from Mopar, which provide you with separation. But I love having the RAM boxes. Be aware of the fact that it does not show you in the sensors if these are open or closed, so make sure they're shut before you use them. I also opted for the uh, multifunction tailgate, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. I use this now so much when I have groceries and stuff. And by the way, you can see that I put my own liner in. It's just a, I think it's a 36 by 48 inch, two of them. I put them in at the bottom and it's rubber. And it, this is like, it was so inexpensive to put above so I don't damage this. It's actually kind of neat. I'll put it in the uh, link to it at the bottom. There is a step which makes it so easy. I love that. This is so well thought out. And the lighting that came with it is great. You can see way back there, that's the divider. That actually is something that um, you can use to separate out things so they don't move around. Now, in the previous versions, it did mount here to extend the bed when the bed was down. You can see it's missing those parts. You can buy those parts to extend the bed. There's some legal issue with regards to uh, lighting when the tailgate is down, apparently. So they removed them for the 2021. I'm not sure when they did. Don't forget to kick this step up because it doesn't do it on its own as far as I know. Um, you wanna slam the door too um, to make sure that the badging is really classy. They still kept the classic Ram feel, as you can see, nicely done. Um, when you get it with a 3.92 axle, which I did, now you can see here, like with a RAM box, I store stuff that I use all the time. Oh, here we go. You can see here, I put my bungee cords here, my gloves here, hat, I've got this stuff here, and uh, very well set up. Now it's important to get a 33 gallon gas tank. I definitely get it, you're gonna need it. Now I love the RAM's interior, the uh, rear, if you look at the rear, they did the same job in the rear as the front. There's a suede here. I love the fact though, and I do this all the time, I fold these up, get them out of the way. There's so much more room with both sides. Now, uh, controversial, it goes with the theme. I love the hooks. I love the fact that these come out completely, which I've taken them out, I don't use them. I love the fact that you've got storage under here. I believe you can get a locking kit for this as well. 
But the fact that you can store stuff and you have these rings, they really thought of everything. FC engin engineers are really top notch. Um, I love the fact that you have heating controlled seats back here. And imagine having a 115 volt outlet, which is really neat. I love having that here. So you can plug stuff in the front or the rear, charge your laptop when you're driving, or those in the rear can use it and they can work on stuff. So another cool feature in the Ram box, as you can see, that it also comes with charging so if you want to charge something while you're in eating dinner you want to charge your laptop or you want to charge when you're driving you can actually i don't know if this works when you're when it's uh the engine's off or not i doubt it but you can charge things while you're driving back here you know things like electric drills etc and i love the fact they did that this does turn the lights on and off the new ford f-150 did something really cool they took the shift lever which is this giant thing which again from an ergonomic standpoint has no purpose when you can actually fit it into this little knob but they put this giant uh the shift lever and it does you hit a button and it folds in here and puts a space that you can use for working well a very simple solution for 20 bucks with the ram is to skip all that nonsense and put this one of these trays you can even use a mouse if you want to so here I am with my laptop, and this is a 13-inch laptop, and you can see that I can actually use it completely as though I have this workspace. I've created it from just using one of these $20 laptop things, and I can even put a mouse here. So it actually makes it more functional to have the space the way it is. So this is what I do, um, and I, don't, I really prefer to not have a shift lever there. It's just a waste of space. I'm not really big into bling, but you can see they did a very cl nice, classy job with this as far as, you know, marking this as a 10th anniversary edition. They, they didn't, like, put it all over the place, uh, but they did make it clear that this is a unique version of the vehicle. And this is right here on the, uh, on the gigantic storage space that exists here. Um, I love that. I just absolutely love the fact that they put in, and again, this does not look as good on film as it does in person, but I absolutely love the fact that they put this suede, and again, it makes it so sophisticated. There's a reason why this vehicle beat out the S-Class Mercedes. I love this detail that goes in here, and again, it's very subtle. These are all subtle things that make this so sophisticated. There's suede that goes along the side here, you can see, and the fact that the wood is so beautiful with a longhorn, and again, it's not blingy, it's not in your face. It's absolutely really nice. In fact, it's got two, uh, there's a one here and there's one down there for glove boxes, having this beautiful dash made of leather. So we're gonna go through the proper way to order a Ram, the new Ram 1500. This is the, there's a bunch of things that were uh, the dealership had no idea about, and I'm going to cover those today. So I'm doing I'm taking a nice drive, a little bit, it's got a little bit dark out, but you should be able to see still. The dealership themselves said this is the absolute perfect build. Now there's some things that are not obvious. One of them is the fact that the um, that this order was uh, created in a manner that appeared to be impossible. Um, there's a couple things I thought were really important that I really wanted. One of them was the protection package. I really wanted that. But they said that it came with the entire off-road package, which I did not want. And I, I pushed it through anyways. I said, just order the protection. So it's protection for the, uh, for the engine, for part of the transmission, oil pan, etc. There's various sections that cover it. I've got the Monroney here. I'll show it to you in a, in, in a little secret at the end about one of the things you need to know about when you own this thing. My name is David Markarian. I was trained by NASA Ames Research Center in both electrophysiology and ergonomics. And so I have an expertise in evaluating everything from automobiles to various different products. Um, I also designed the Myovision and Dynaram system, which can be used to evaluate for back pain issues. So it's really important to remember this because when I ordered this truck, and I think it's they even said this is the most perfect way to order the vehicle. There's a couple things to be aware of. One of them is the color scheme. So the Limited is great. 
It really is. It's absolutely fantastic. But the limited Longhorn, the 10th anniversary limited Longhorn, the fine detail in this vehicle is so unique that the buyer said to me, you know I laughed at you essentially when you ordered this because I thought what kind of nut job would order this combination. When it came in, he said, oh my God, everything I ordered was wrong and they most of these are black. So this came in mountain brown and it's got really cool suede uh, leather on various parts, leather dash, absolutely beautiful. But there's some things that he was not aware of and I want you to be aware of. It's really important uh, because you may be getting a truck missing these components because of the fact you think they're not available. So one of them, which I thought was really important, is I really wanted the trailer uh, tow package. And that package includes uh, the trailer brake, uh, but trailer steering now in 2021 is pretty amazing. So in the limited Longhorn 2021, you've got the trailer steering. It also has the ability to compensate, to use the ABS to compensate for sway. Um, it comes with TPMS sensors and they're in the dash. Uh, the TPS sensors are in my dash, uh, they're in the glove box, and you just simply hook those up. You can put about, I think it's five trailers or whatever, it doesn't make any difference. The main thing is that uh, you have to have the tires taken off your trailer, but TPMS shows up on your dash. And very, very cool feature. And, and to me, safety is so important. And having been a race car driver, I want everything as safe as possible. So the other things that were supposedly impossible, uh, I wanted the folding mirrors. And if you get the electronic folding mirrors in 2020, you couldn't get the surround view camera. And I didn't just order the, the, the folding mirrors, I ordered the chrome folding mirrors, which he said, there's no way that you'll come, it'll come with the surround view. Well. I knew I was reading a lot of stuff and I thought, you know, it probably will. And it did. So I got that as well. In addition, I got a, the, the, for 500 bucks, I got the camera, uh, prep package for, and it turns out it looks like it gives you two auxiliary cameras, which is really cool because I can set up a camera wherever I want to. It's a wired camera, but I can set it up wherever I want to. Um, in addition, the technology group is a no-brainer. I mean, the fact that this thing drives itself so well, the stop and go in traffic, I'll show that in a separate video. Uh, you're not going to believe what it's like. Uh, it's the most stress-free way to drive uh, in traffic is to have the vehicle drive for you, start and stop. Um, it also, now I got the Rambox system on mine and uh, I am so glad that I did. It's got for some reason, the videos don't show how much room there is. There's quite a bit. I got a couple dividers in there so I can separate things like bungee cords out. Um, I love that, and I will show it. Um, the uh, I love the fact they put the trailer brake controller right here, which means you can control it when you want to. I can turn on the lane departure now, and I won't go off the road like I am while I'm driving. So I can even set the car. Now it's driving itself. Um, so I also got... In addition to the technology group, the advanced safety group, they've improved that this year. It actually has pedestrian detection, which it didn't have before. So one of the things I did not want that I didn't have a choice, when you order the 10th anniversary edition, I believe, or the trailer towing package, I'm not sure which one it is, that it's either that or the, uh, the protection group, it forces you to get tires that are the off-road tires. They're not the all season tires. Now my concern, I like silence. This is the quietest vehicle other than my old Escalade that's really close. This is even quieter than the Escalade I had, an 03 Escalade, which is probably one of the quietest vehicles I've owned. Um, and this uh, is super quiet, and I was concerned that those off-road tires were going to be noisy. Now, so I started researching it. The Falcon, I think there are Falcon brand tires that are on here. Uh, I, they were saying that you know you're going to be shocked at how quiet they are. One of the little tricks to utilizing this, it does have this fantastic space for your phone with a charging pad and it's great that's where i put my mask is in this spot here it was like oh they made a place for my mask uh, it is neat that it has usb-c connections because those are uh, the future of usb they're not keyed so they don't be any any particular direction they just plug in it's really nice but one of the problems with this when you have the panoramic sunroof 
The downside is that at night when you want to see what's in here, it's almost impossible, but there is a trick. And the trick is, if you look up here, there's a button. So normally people put lights on this way, and this gives you the, a minimal amount of light with these two. But if you put this button on, it actually puts lights on all over the entire place and lights up everything down here really, really well. So it adds lighting all over the place. And so absolutely fantastic feature. But you have to know to use this button up here, not these ones, to turn lighting on to see. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Thanks, NASA guy, out.